Okay. So we are, we are going to see uh, a concept called split part, split part function. Okay. This split part. So now you want to find out in the UK what are all products are there. Only in UK. How will you find out with this kind of data? So let us see the table. What is there first? The table is like this. So now you are not UK. UK has not been added. So we'll add UK also. We'll add UK also. Uh, we'll say not in, not in this. And we'll update UK. Sorry, UK. So now you go and query the table. What is the table data we will have? UK came. But what do you want? You want to find out, you want to find out where and all UK, UK. you know, where and all the products are present, what are all products are tagged to UK? What are all products? These are all, this is all one type of interview question. So they will give this kind of data, they will ask you. So can you get me the products which are tagged to UK? This is the one kind of interview question. They will give you a table. They'll ask you now. Fine. So how will you find out is a challenge? So now, what we are going to do here, we are going to use a function called split part. What is that? Split part. Split part will take three parameters. One is the input. Another one is a delimiter. Okay. Right, another one is the position. Clear? So now, first of all, we'll see, we'll not address our query. First of all, we'll see what split part will do. What split part will do? Every time you say a split part, okay, your input will be column. What is that? Column. What is our column? Countries. Columns with? No, columns with multiple values. Columns with like, we have some text and comma separated values. Comma separated values. For that purpose only split part is there. Okay, what is our countries is there in our part? What is the delimiter? You know the delimiter is comma here. What is the position? So which position you know, like you, you will tell, I want all ones. But your position will not take a negative number. Always it will take a positive number. Always it will take a positive number. What if I say negative number? I show you. What it will, it will give an error. Okay. So now what do you want? You want to find out one. Okay. What? So let us consider select split part countries like we'll say name, comma, this one. Okay. And what is that? From products. From products. Now what we said? One. One. So and we'll say for one product so that we can understand very well. So where ID is equal to 108. 103 also is there, right? Not three. What happened? So actually, yeah, actually, if I don't if I don't apply a split part, if I don't apply a split part, so I'll specify only a countries. What is answer? All whole data, whole data, whole data came to you. Correct. What if I apply only one? One data, first data came. First data came. First position data came. What if I apply three? Correct. So now what was your challenge? UK. UK. Huh? UK. But what? See, you, you, you will get only uh, this one, no? So the split part this uh, is that. So it will give you the text. Okay. So now, Without applying a where condition, if I do that, what will happen? We'll see. So first of all, we'll uh, see what is the data we have here. 
you can help i help right one so like uh, how many one two three four five 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 is the number so if i say five may five may not be applicable for everyone five is applicable for one or three correct five is applicable for one or three only but five is not applicable five position is not applicable for uh, all the data correct so now what happened whether the data came present or not what happened what is this ah uh, see when the data is not there also when some for some columns the data is not there so for that i think this is null we have already in the table the null we have already in the table we'll remove so but see we'll add ids also so that we can understand what id came to us huh? again we selected with the where condition we'll remove the where condition and we'll ask them the fifth one give me the fifth one so apart from uk all the data came but what do you want only uk only uk only uk so now what we are going to see is sub queries in this sub queries so we'll see what i can do i can write one more query on top of this okay one more query on top of this this result set will be my table what is that this result set will be my table i'll give alias name as new table then new table or any name you give any name any name what we need to do we need to do just a select star select star what is that from unit set start from unit is you know otherwise it is from ah uh. so what was our query to find only uk products uk products right so now what is you know the table is there you want to find out uk products what you will do you want to do just do a apply a where condition so now for this if you give a alias name it will be a better as country as mapped country i'll say mapped country as mapped country so now my column will be mapped country is equal to uk that's it. so what we have done we have taken a result set we have taken a result set in a query and made it as on fly as a table it's not actually a table a query data we are taking and forming another query on top so next take to this nothing but a sub queries we got it this is very very important concept so both, we covered both split part as well as a sub queries so you want me to explain once again yes so what is our challenge our challenge today was to find out the products which are which has been tagged to country called uk okay so now our data our data table was data table was products which has comma separated values so we know that there is a function called split part in our uh, uh, postgres sql especially it is related to postgres sql we have a split part so now we uh, we applied a split part and we have found the table uh, as it is multiple data here we found for a single individual so we know that uk was available at fifth position okay uk was available at fifth position what we have done so we have taken Yeah, five, and we have taken all, ex, ex, uh, elicited out all the data tagging, all the data tagging. If you don't have the position, then then it is very difficult. Yes. Then it is very difficult. Then it is very difficult. Huh? That will that will deal with later. That I'll give. I'll I'll tell you. I'll come to you. That I'll come. To you. That I'll come to. You. Okay. We know the position, exact position. That's where we found. Okay. So now. what we have done we have found all the 
other not UK, UK along with other countries also, but we want to filter out from the data. From the result, you want to find out another result. In that case, you will use hub. From the result, you want to find out another result. Okay. So what happens normally in Python also? You will find out a data frame. You will prepare a data frame. From the data frame, you want to find out another data. The same way, this is also a data frame. Nothing but see what is the data frame? It will have a columns and a row. Like what is say a column numbering and row numbering also. So we have a column numbering and row name also. So it is similar to data frame in Python. So now how how you will do in Python also? You want you will find a result. You will find a data frame. On top of that, you want to filter. You see, whatever you can do in SQL, you can do in Python. Pandas, especially. You have a group by, you have a replace, everything you have. Everything you have. We saw replace function? No. No. Ah, now, this is a point. So now after, after we find, we are giving this result as a input to the input to the not mutable it can be anything it can be anything t also it can be tv also anything it can anything it's a table to me it's a table to me so any name any alias name that's it so we found all the uk things clear so what if i give a negative number what if i give a negative number what happens what is the error we are going to get? Field position must be greater than zero. What is that? Field position must be greater than zero. Zero is also not supported. So we'll see zero. So always your split part should be greater than zero. Greater than zero. Index is usually under normal minus index. That's what. So you use that. What happens? Field position must be greater than zero. 